So we've gone through quite a few tips already of the Holy Quran, mashallah, and accommodated by the Talawat from yourself, mashallah. Um, there's another small vowel or symbol that we see in the Holy Quran, which is the Tashdeed or Shadda. So could you explain a little bit about what the importance of Shadda is and, you know, it means emphasize. So can you emphasize some of the points of what the Tashdeed is, please? So Tashdeed um, in English is stressing. Yeah, so stressing something, emphasizing, just like you said. Um, mushaddad means hardened. So a letter with a shadda on top is called a mushaddad letter, yeah? And this sign signifies a letter being pronounced twice. So again, the aspect of emphasizing, you know, it comes from here. If we take a look at the word inna, we can see the example of this tashdeed. Um, so there are two steps to this. The first step is the in with the sakin, yeah? So the first step is the alif with the noon sakin, in. The second part to this, if we break this mushaddad letter down, inna, you know, the mutaharrik part, which is the noon, it has a fatha. So when we join these two together, the first in and the second part, na, and when we bring that together, we have this um, inna. So that, in essence, is the tashdeed. So another example in the verse we can see is from verse 42, which is the next verse. So this verse is min kulli. So if we look at these two words, min kulli, and if we take the word kulli, the first step is kul, and then the next step is li. And when we bring these two things together, we have kulli. So that, in essence, is the tashdeed, where the letter is pronounced twice, and you find these examples with the shadda sign on top of a letter. Yeah, I think I think the importance as well of emphasizing a point or uh, something that you want to tell someone is also a very delicate matter. But the way Allah the Almighty has said it in the Holy Quran, especially in some places where He says that surely we have sent down the Holy Quran and. Adding those letters of, of Shadda also adds that emphasis to the point that you know, the Holy Quran is something which is protected by Allah the Almighty Himself. So that aspect of Tashdeed is a, a beautiful point that you made. And you know, the more we learn about the Holy Quran, the more you know, we will feel in our recitation that what we're saying is, is connected to the words of Allah the Almighty as well. Jazakallah for that.